Hi everyone, in today's video we will see how to fix Metro by T-Mobile eSIM activation not working. Device compatibility issues. Ensure your device support eSIM technology. Incorrect credentials on information. Double check that you are entering the correct account number, password, PIN, IMEI and EIED information when setting up the eSIM. Conflicting or existing eSIM profiles. If you have an existing eSIM profile on your device, it may conflict with the new Metro by T-Mobile eSIM. Network or service issue. There may also be the temporary service outage or technical problem on the Metro by T-Mobile's end that could be prevent successful activation. Fix 1. Check device compatibility. Ensure your device is compatible with eSIM technology. Metro by T-Mobile support eSIM on the following device. Fix 2. Update the phone OS. Major OS update bring new features, improvements to network performance, and define user experience. For iOS, go to the settings, then general. Click on the software update and tap on download and install. Enter the passcode if asked. For Android, go to settings, then system update. Click on check for updates. Fix 3. Check coverage area. Go to the Metro PC coverage check page. Enter your address and location. Click on the search button. Fix 4. Check the Wi-Fi connection. You should have internet connection to install the eSIM. Make sure you have turned on the Wi-Fi. Restart your router. Turn off your router by unplugging it from the power source. Wait for at least 30 seconds and plug the router back in. Wait for it to restart. Restart Wi-Fi. Swipe down from the top of the screen to open the quick settings menu and turn off and on the Wi-Fi icon. Fix 5. Existing line conflict. If you have an existing eSIM profile on your device, it may conflict with the new Metro by T-Mobile eSIM. Try removing any existing eSIM profiles before attempting to activate the new one. You cannot install the eSIM if you have, an, if you have installed multi-line in your account. To activate an additional line on your eSIM, please contact Metro by T-Mobile customer support. They will assist you in activating the extra line and ensure a smooth transition to your new eSIM enabled device. Fix 6. Restart the device and try again. Restarting can help resolve issue with cellular, Wi-Fi or Bluetooth connectivity by resetting the device wireless radio. For iOS, to restart an iPhone or iPad, press and hold the power button and the volume down button simultaneously until the device powers off. Then turn it back on. For Android, to restart an Android device, press and hold the power button until the power menu appears. Select Restart and tap on it. Fix 7. Verify IMA number. During setup your own Android device, you will be asked to scan a QR code and enter the IMEI or EID number, make sure you have the correct information ready. To find your IMEI and EID number, dial star hash 06 hash from your phone. Go to the settings, scroll down to about phone, then status and find IMEI number. Fix 8. Contact Metro by T-Mobile. Go to the Metro by T-Mobile website, scroll down and click on Metro support or contact us button. You can call their customer service number or start a live chat with a support agent. When connecting the support, be prepared to provide your account information such as your phone number or account number. Clearly explain the problem you are experiencing or the assistance you need. Thank you for watching. Like this video and subscribe to our channel.